Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, coming at you guys today from the video room, and today we're here to talk about shotguns. That's right, everybody, just, just buy a shotgun. We're here to talk about shotguns, guys, and these are just pretty much my top five as of right now, um, because, uh, well, it always changes. I mean, my top five for everything changes depending on what we get in, whenever I see something new and shiny, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go shoot that, like what you'll see with the salient. Guys, it is just ever-changing but currently right now let's just talk about some shotguns top five do-all type of stuff all right and we're going to start off with the ever so popular Mossberg that you see right here now this guy I just want to go ahead and throw it out there this Mossberg uh, 500 there's a lot happening here and uh, <laughs> this is actually Ryan's personal shotgun Ryan, you said this is like the first one that you put together right yeah First yeah. Gun I ever bought. Yeah. So uh, this thing, first off, I just want to show you guys how versatile these things are. Because, uh, <laughs> like I said, there's just a lot happening. He's got this big rail on it. You can throw on all type of optics, lights, as you can see, everything you could ever ask for. You've got your sights on it, and the what I'm actually a big fan of is the Magpul setup up here on the forend. On my personal Remington 870, I've got the Magpul, you know, set up. Uh, but this one is super comfortable. I have shot this one with Ryan and it is actually a whole lot of fun. And it's, you know, Mossberg, so it's it's good stuff, right? Now, there was a huge debate when I first started getting into firearms too and bought my first uh, shotgun, Mossberg versus Remington. Obviously, Ryan went the Mossberg route here and uh, I went the Remington way. And that's what you see right here, Remington 870 pump shotgun, guys. And yeah, I went with the Magpul accessories. I uh, wasn't too fond of this guy at first, as far as the stock goes, just by looking at it. Uh, but once I shouldered it and saw and felt just how ergonomic this thing is, I was like, okay. I like it, and I like it a lot. But I've kept mine pretty basic, pretty simple, other than just having the uh, shot shell side saddle, you know, on the side over here. I got that just because I don't always keep shot shells on me or around, and just having these extra ones set up, good to go, sounds good. Now, something I do like about Ryan's Mossberg, though, is the fact that it does have a folding stock on it. So, if you wanted to, fold it off to the side like that there, and now you have something that's a little bit more compact, especially if it's in a home defense situation, something like that, uh, to be able to, you know, maneuver this thing around a little bit more. All right, so kind of cool, I like it. And uh, of course, home defense setups, everybody, Everybody I've ever heard says just, you know, just buy a shotgun type of stuff. Shotgun's the number one thing for home defense. I don't necessarily agree with that term or that statement, I should say. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Me, personally, I do love a Mark 18 for home defense. That's right, I said it, the 5.56 little short-barreled rifle that I have over here. I love pistol caliber carbines like a CZ Scorpion for home defense. Shotguns. I don't mind them, but I do think that they definitely serve a purpose elsewhere. But for me, it's not gonna be home defense. But like I said, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comment section exactly what you think. Also too, just a, uh, I just wanna go ahead and throw a, a little warning spoiler out there. This is not a deterrent. All right, continuing on. What we've got now set up, I've talked about our two pump action shotguns over here, which is just everybody's favorite. First off, I do love them. They are a lot of fun, and yes, the sound is very recognizable and unmistakable. Uh, however, I'm also a huge, huge fan of some semi-auto shotguns, like this Benelli behind me here. Uh, how many of you guys remember those M2 surplus Benellis that we got in a while back? Well. I took one of them, kind of made it something here. I haven't really Cerakoted or anything because it is pretty beat up just, you know, from what it was, but it shoots great and I love inertia driven shotguns. So, uh, yeah. Also too, I can fit 12 in the uh, tube there. So that's a good day, right? So I'm a huge fan of semi-auto shotguns and the salient GLD on the Brita platform here is excellent i am a huge fan of this guy now this guy by no means is a cheap shotgun this thing right here is coming in right around somewhere around three thousand dollars like goodness gracious that is ridiculous but man it runs and it's salient like they just make high-end everything speaking of salient we got a cool giveaway coming out anyway 
Uh, this one here, again, all of these are chambered in 12 gauge. Uh, this thing just runs so good, guys. Over oversized controls on just about everything except for the safety, which I could probably add my own oversized safety. I've got it on the Benelli there. Uh, but one thing I do like is your oversized release here. So that way, when this guy's locked back, you can throw in that extra shell, hit that, and then go for your target. Like that a lot. Or you can do the entire wrap around here, hit it, and go. Man, shotguns are a lot of fun, especially semi-autos. Also to the salient here, the recoil on it is light, very light. And that's partly due to some of the like the gas porting that you see right here in the barrel. And also to just its recoil operation and system is super sweet. If you guys wanna see uh, dedicated videos on any of these platforms, by the way, let me know down in the comments section. Next one I'm gonna start getting into are some magazine fed shotguns because, well, those are a lot of fun too. It's just like your standard AR. We carry the AR-12s, the BP-12s, and this one takes the same magazines as, those, as the uh, Panzers, but this is, this guy right here looks a whole lot more high speed to me. This is the Typhoon Model 12 or F-12.1. This thing right here just looks fast. I haven't had the opportunity to shoot one of these just yet, but guys, I am ready to rock and roll with this guy here. This thing is just oversized controls on everything first off. So notice the safety select, very easy to actuate. It's a short throw, 45 degree safety. Uh, it is also ambidextrous, very cool. You've got the oversized charging handle on it, nice. You've got the oversized mag release on it, also nice. Oversized bolt catch or bolt release. Very nice. Everything about the SEG here just screams quality and it feels super smooth. Oh my goodness, let me just feel that without the... Oh yeah, that feels great. Just throwing that out there. Also too, it's coming up with your polymer backup sights, which I definitely like. And the ergonomic kind of overmolded grip that they have on it, very comfortable. And notice that flat facing trigger as well. Pretty cool. I actually really want to feel this trigger here and just try it out. So let's just see here. Let's just take a look at what the F12 has to offer. I'm going to go ahead and start applying a little bit of pressure and just a little bit of a break there. So it's got just very little travel. Let's see what that reset looks like. Nice. Yeah. Nice loud clunk that you have on the reset. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to shoot this guy for sure. Another thing I really like about it too, notice just how slim the rail is right here. That really allows you to get a good hold of this thing. I mean, I can literally wrap my hand all the way around it and you can just drive this thing anywhere it needs to go. Whew, I'm liking it. Also too, like the uh, MOE style stock that they have on it. Uh, I, I like stationary stocks quite a bit. Like I got on all my personal shotguns. Uh, so definitely uh, this one's catering towards me big time. And like I said, they make drum mags, they make the extended mags for these. So if you wanted to run these guys, I think they make like a 12, 12 shell capacity magazine. You can sit there and just run this thing. Great for competitions, I think. Super cool. Now the next one, next one we're gonna talk about, I've got a love-hate relationship with the uh, Fostech Origin 12. First off, this does claim to be, or has the claim of being the fastest shooting, fastest cycling shotgun. And it is super popular within, <laughs> oh, within Call of Duty. And it is my number one go-to troll firearm. But it's typically me that's getting trolled by these and it just makes me mad. Also seen in Hollywood as well, the Origin 12 is just a beast, guys. I mean, this thing, just all in all, it's a big boxy guy. But Fostech, our friends over there designed this. They're the same guys that make the echo triggers and all that fun stuff. They, uh, they did a good job with this one too. Oversized controls on everything as well. So you'll notice you got a nice large ambi safety on it. And you'll, I really like how they kind of did it. It's got two, I guess you could say little, you know, switches that you can hit or tabs, which makes it very easy to go from, you know, if you're ambi, I mean, it just makes sense. So it's very easy to throw that guy back and forth. Nice. <laughs> Just look at the internals on this guy. I want to try to show you the bolt and everything the best I can here and just see all of that mass that is moving there. This thing is a beast and it is 
a heck of a lot of fun to shoot for sure. And it, yes, it does cycle super fast. The uh, magazine release on it too, you've got one right back here, which is very cool. I'm definitely a fan of that. And you've also just got this little tab right here on the left-hand side of the receiver, which just again, just makes it very easy to actuate. But yeah, yeah, I am, I'm a fan of it, except for when I'm playing Call of Duty and I get completely completely wrecked by one of these. Oh my goodness. Also too, I found the biggest little bulky holographic side I could find to throw on it because they just go together so well. This is the Vortex Razor, uh, what they call the Huey or the UH-1. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Also has a side folding stock on it. And guys, magazine fed shotguns are a lot of fun because you can run them just like your regular AR-15s or whatever else doing your mag reloads. You can, they're great for competition, things along those lines. And so are your standard, you know, tube fed shotguns. It just takes, again, practice and training with each platform. And then once you get efficient with it, you'll notice that you'll get more accurate. You'll get quicker. It just takes training and practice. And I do believe that Shot shells are still pretty available on the market, so of course, go ahead, buy your new shotgun, head to the range, and start laying waste on some you know, metal targets, whatever else it is, with some uh, slugs, or if you do enjoy shooting skeet and trap, it is a lot of fun. Go ahead and pick, your, pick yourself up, you know, one of these types of guys, or something a lot more affordable, like an old school Mossberg or Remington, and go at it. My first shotgun that I ever shot was my dad's, and I still have in my possession, the Remington 870 Wingmaster. Big, long guy, super lightweight, you know, two in the tube type of thing, and I absolutely love shooting that got shotgun, especially for skeet shooting. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what was your first shotgun? Which out of all of these, is your favorite and i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now my favorites my remington 870 i just can't go i just can't go without it this is actually one of the longest firearms that i have owned longest firearms one of the firearms that i have owned the longest amount of time uh i bought this guy my senior year of high school i think and it has just stayed with me so i absolutely love it i'm gonna say that one's definitely my favorite and then uh, my number two is gonna be my benelli back here granted if i uh had this in my safe, it would probably be this guy, but whew, I think that one might be a giveaway. I don't know, what do you guys think? Again, let me know down in the comments. Be looking out for our future salient giveaway. Oh, and it's not this one too, hmm, exciting. But speaking of giveaways, let's talk about our giveaway that ends today, guys. We are finishing out the giveaway on the LWRC Reaper Rapid Engagement Precision Rifle with the Vortex Strike Eagle. This does have a one to six optic on it and the Vortex is super nice. I really love the glass on this guy. And yes, I know the rings are low profile. I couldn't find her a mid or a high. I'm sorry. You're still getting a pretty sweet setup though. If you wanna switch out the rings, you know, more power to you. Anyway, this guy is really cool. Coming with the Geisley Super Semi Auto Enhanced Trigger. You've got the UBR Gen 2 Magpul stock on it, which I am definitely a fan of. Real slick design, chambered in 762 NATO, and will just run and run and run. And it is still the flattest shooting 762 calibered rifle I've ever shot. I guess that's partly due to the four chamber break on it. This thing just, goes. I absolutely love it. So yeah, head on over to classicfirearms.com. Click on that top banner. You'll see just kind of a funny photo of me standing there looking all happy with this guy or trying to look cool. Click on that top banner. It's going to take you to a web page that shows you all the different links to get your entries. And don't miss out on the code word, R-E-P-R. -E Go get those extra entries, guys. God bless you all. See you guys down in the comments all about shotties and shotguns and salients and everything else that we could ever ask for is when it comes to 12-gauge goodness. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon at ClassicFirearms.com.